method is intaglio. With the relief printing block, the ink will remain on the protruding surfaces. With an intaglio printing method, the ink is pressed into the grooves in the material and then cleaned off. So it's a reverse printing method. This intaglio method that I'm going to demonstrate is using an acrylic etching plate. The effects are very similar to a metal etching, but this is something that doesn't require an acid bath or any chemical materials to achieve. It's very accessible for a school setting. It's probably something that Key Stage 4 upwards would be able to manage, perhaps very able Key Stage 3. Thinking about health and safety, you would need to use a respiratory mask because scribing into the acrylic will create a fine dust which you will inhale. Also, it's wise to use eyeglasses if you don't already wear glasses just to protect your eyes again from the fine dust. The scriber is what we will use to scribe the lines into the acrylic. So the image that I'm going to create in the acrylic etching combines three drawings, sketchbook images, in the composition. Uh, there's the images of pots and plants that I used earlier with the umbrellas. There's the images of the angel heads, which are very, very common within Ethiopian art. And there's the architectural image of the carving in stone around the arches in castles in Gonda. So I've combined that into a single image. I've just removed the plastic film which protects the acrylic. I'm just now using some masking tape to hold it in position. This works better than a bench hook because you really just want the image held static while you scrub. The image is going to be created with a scriber. And I'm just literally drawing in scribing lines. I need to be quite deep. It's better to draw through an existing image, and that is because if you have a pen drawing, it can be difficult to see whether you scribed or not. But this way, you see the very fine lines and you can feel the surface has actually been inscribed. And I'm just checking that I've got the right side because we're going to push with the dabber. And you can see we buy the dabber and we covered it with leather to give it a bit more longevity. So we've got our intaglio block, our dry point acrylic etching, and we're going to print it up now using the printing press. So first off, we're going to put some ink, and this is intaglio ink, etching ink. It's slightly different to the block printing ink and the screen printing ink. And put it in here. You see I'm wearing rubber gloves. A bit of a messy business. This is the main difference between intaglio printing and relief printing. With relief printing, the ink goes into the protruding surfaces. With an intaglio printing, the ink goes into the grooves and you clean the protruding surfaces. So the next stage is to take some scrim, it's like a kind of muslin bandage, and this is where it gets very messy, and you're cleaning off the print, and you can see through the white paper, the black lines. Now, depending on what kind of quality of print you want, will depend how much clean off you do. So you may actually want quite a dark print, in which case you would leave some residue of ink on the surface. If you want a lighter print, then obviously you clean off more. 
you would probably be doing this with key stage 4, post 16, perhaps at the key, key stage 3. It's, it's quite a time-taking process. There's no reason why you can't do this with a younger group of students if you felt they were able and would get the result that they would be satisfied with. It's a great way of converting ink drawings, textural drawings, mark making into a print and one that older students particularly would enjoy. So, the, the paper works best when it's damp. It enables the ink to be forced more easily into the crevices of the print. So, spray the paper, but you don't want pools of water. So, just put it between some newsprint. Dab off the excess water. We've got our dry point etching on the bed and paper is then going to go on top of that. We've got a piece of newsprint. The idea is that we are protecting the blanket so that we're keeping it clean so that when we come to make a print, the print is not going to be spoiled by somebody else's smudges. Right, now that's starting to bite. You can feel it bite as you go through the rollers. With the dry point acrylic, there is a bit of a trade-off in terms of pressure and not pressing so hard that the acrylic cracks. And we've got there a typical etched image with various shades of greys, blacks, not too dissimilar from a traditional metal etching.